Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. So today we are going to be curling our hair. Since I like my hair, I've been wearing it curly so many times because I just feel like it looks so beautiful and nice, like the textures. Like obviously when you have black hair, you can't really see like the texture when you curl your hair. And now it's just like you see everything and it just looks so big and voluminous and it just looks really pretty. I also went on Instagram and asked you guys if you want to see a dedicated video on how I curl my hair and a lot of you did want to see it. So here I am making the video. I just want to say thank you to you guys for interacting on the posts. Um, and being so active and engaging it just really does mean a lot to me and it helps it helps me out it opens a lot of doors so thank you so much guys before we jump into the video i'm going to do my post notification shout out and today's one's going to go to suji bts so thank you so much for your sweet comment hun if you guys want to get one next time all you have to do is subscribe press the bell button and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so or you can just leave a nice comment i just want to talk about some products that i've been using on my hair lately to keep it healthy and you know give life back to it because obviously this is this has been bleached. It's been bleached once. I will tag uh, Troy, who did my hair, in the in the description box so you can check him out if you do want to get your hair done. He's a colorist and he was so good with my hair. Um, I didn't ask him for a specific color. It doesn't really work like that when you go to a hairdresser. You just show a picture that you want and yeah you can he just literally did that for me um he did he lightened my hair so well one go um that i had to go back and ask him to make it a little bit darker and i just love it i love the hair but obviously it is a bit damaged now this is blow dried just a rough blow dry so it's still not bad it's got life into it, it doesn't feel like hay i did wash my hair whilst having my makeup on so my makeup might be weird in some areas so i definitely definitely recommend the olaplex hair perfector it's number three this stuff costs so much for what it is um not for what it is but for how much you get it's a tiny bottle it's 100 ml for like 26 or even 30 pounds i think this is but um, sometimes you can get some offers, so keep an eye out on that, like discount codes on Look Fantastic or Feel Unique. Um, I literally did a treatment of this this morning. I only do it like once a week or once every two weeks because this, this costs so much, guys. But whenever I do it, my hair feels so good. So what I do is I wash my hair when it's like super dirty. I wash it, towel dry it, I put a bunch of this in, comb it out so it's like evenly distributed and then I wrap it with my towel and I keep it on for like an hour. It says 10 minutes but I want to keep it on for longer. Um, I wash it out and then the next thing I use is the Fudge Professional Clean Blonde Shampoo. This stuff costs around like £20 or something. It's a violet toning shampoo. It removes yellow tones from blonde hair so it has been helping to keep that ashy blonde colour in. Um, and removing the yellow tones and also like even I have like a more ginger color here underneath which is where I had box dye left by the way when you box dye your hair it's really hard to lighten mine mostly grew out I haven't used one in years so I was able to light my hair quite well but some of it where there was some left it went can you see that it went more of this like coppery color rather than this color right here you definitely see that this shampoo does help to keep that in check um although it does stain my hands are literally like all purpley um and i cannot use this in the shower the first two times i did and i only use this like once every two weeks i don't use it all the time it makes me so itchy like i realized you know i was telling you i'm so itchy it's this this makes me so itchy i think i used it once and twice in the shower and then I didn't use it for a while and I was fine. And then once I use this again in the shower, oh my god, instantly everything was itchy to the point where like I'm literally bruising my skin because I'm itching so hard. It's so bad. So I only use this in the sink on my head only and it, it works fine. Although I'm probably going to look for another toning shampoo because it's annoying. But yeah, it makes me so itchy. <laughs> So I don't know. I don't know if I would recommend this. Maybe get a, a smaller bottle, like a sample. I think there are smaller sizes available. So definitely try it out first. But this is... It works, but unfortunately I can only use it in the sink on my hair only. Another shampoo that I like, my husband actually got this and I kind of copy him and use it, but it's really nice. It's the Pantene Gold Series Moisture Boost Shampoo. It has argan oil in it. It's for dry damaged hair and yeah, it's really nice. It smells amazing. I haven't got a shampoo that actually smells like this. 
but your hair smells so good after it's very sweet i love it so much so yeah it's very hydrating and i just use this if i'm not using my toning shampoo because it the toning shampoo can make sure it can make your hair a bit drier and i like to use my olaplex uh, number five conditioner you get much more in this this is 250 mil a lot like i've used it three times now and there's still quite a lot left you don't need a lot with these products and this was a bit more affordable than number three this is like the gold stuff that you want to cherish this is just to help maintain the healthiness um i definitely want to get more olaplex stuff because i swear to you guys it's so good like it makes my hair feel so nice so yeah this is just a bond maintenance conditioner i might get the shampoo actually they have a shampoo they have a bit of everything to be honest there are two oils that i have been using is the first one is the bumble and bumble bb hairdressing invisible oil i like to put this whenever like i've done styling my hair and then also the pantene hydrating oil this is very thick so most of the time i just put a bunch of this in my hair before i wash it and then i like rinse it all out because it's very very thick i don't see myself wearing this after styling um but it's really really nice it smells amazing as well but it's very thick when my hair's wet um before blow drying i like to use the be bumble and bumble hairdressers invisible oil uh primer it does protect the hair from heat as well it detangles it protects from uv damage it makes my hair so much easier to like brush out and it does the job to like protect my hair from heat so i've already got it in i did it before blow dry my hair and also i try to avoid blow drying if i'm gonna curl or straighten so i let it air dry the only thing i blow dry is the roots here to make it like bit poofy because otherwise it just sinks straight down we're gonna go straight on to doing our hair the curling one is the lee stafford argan oil from morocco curling wand it's very thick i love how thick it is because it gives really big curls of course everything will be linked in the info box so the first thing i do is just separate both halves like this and i just like randomly it's so weird but i just randomly pick up the bottom part I don't know if this is gonna hold oh it is so this side so what i like to do is curl the hair away from my face on both sides so it's hard to do the back ones and show you but I'm just gonna be i like to take big pieces as well And you just want to leave that there for like 10-15 seconds, especially because they're more thicker pieces. If you're holding, if you're getting thinner pieces, obviously not that long. But to be honest, it's not about like holding it there for long. It's just like the heat changes the protein structure in your hair, I think, and it helps to like change the form. And all you want to do is make sure it cools down in that form, and that's it really. So I hold it there. Make sure it cools down a little bit. And that's your curl. Look how shiny it makes it look. This usually takes me like 20 minutes. I do have really long hair, so if you have shorter hair, this will be much, much quicker. And this hair curling tongue does come with a glove. I just, I'm so used to curling my hair now, I don't use it. You want to bring that to the back i'm gonna get another chunk of hair i usually do it in like three goes This is definitely an arm workout, but I always like cross my legs and like lean on my legs so it helps a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, it's definitely a struggle sometimes. I 
always like to curl my little baby hairs because they're not really baby hairs they're quite long baby hairs and obviously it once you've like practiced this more like it took me a while to like actually learn how to curl my hair like the way I wanted it so it takes a while make sure you don't leave any straight especially because I have like really really like straight hair you don't want to leave any straight straight pieces now I've got our last section on this side When it comes to the front pieces, I like to go underneath just to give it some lift. And then you want to go right from the root and again go away from the face. So that's one side done. So we're going to leave it like that for now. Just got to finish this side now. My arms hurt. I did so many push ups the other day. Like, it's, I'm in so much pain. So now, the big error that people do, I find that, like, when they don't want to get the results they want, they will go straight in like this and go like this way when you don't want to do that. You want to go, like, again, away from the face. So, I'm going to start from the back. This, I'm not going to lie, this, uh, this side is definitely harder. So you just have to get used to it. You just have to stay like that. Oh, there's no like, just take random pieces to be honest. They don't have to be neat. Well, I prefer doing that to be honest. And just make sure you don't burn yourself. The amount of times I've burnt myself with this, so make sure you use the glove if you do have one until like you're really confident. The ones under my hair are the ones that really like let loose after a while. So I make sure to hold it a little bit longer for the under hair. When it comes to the top pieces, I like to switch my hand. I'm not really good with doing it with my left hand, to be honest, but you wanna hold it away from the face and go like this. I feel like when I do this, it really helps me get the way I want it to. Right, now for the fun part. I do like to brush through it. My sister hates brushing through her curls, but for me, I just love doing it. I'm gonna do the same for the other side. Look at that. Now I do like to go in under here because my hair is so straight so I just like to like just back comb it a little bit and then brush the top layer and then just to finish off actually I'm just gonna put a bit of oil quickly this is my um bumble and bumble I just put two pumps I'm just gonna put it through my the length not anywhere near my roots and then to finish off, I'm gonna use some of my L'Oreal Elnet Satin Spray. This is the Supreme Hold one. Now, because my hair's so straight, it doesn't, my it, when I curl it, it just goes straight down. It's so annoying, like even just within a few hours. But when I put this, it stays. And it stays in place for days. So I just literally put it all over. And it doesn't make your hair like, scrunchy or anything and I also put a bit in the roots where I've back combed it just under here 
Uh, also, just put a bunch, man. Just put it everywhere. I'm so bad at making sure my hair tools are turned off. So make sure you turn off your hair tools. Um, but yeah, I love, I just love my hair like this. It's just so, oh no, you're tired, Luna. You must be hungry as well. Anyways, I have to head off, guys. Um, I hope you, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, let me know what you think of the hair. And if you do try it, tag me in your photos on Instagram. My Instagram will be linked in the description box. But yeah, the hair still has movement. You can brush your like hands for it as much as you want. Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.